Hello everyone. In this lesson, I am going to discuss about the similarity and the difference between initial and always block. And this is a very important topic because during interview, the VLSI interview, usually they ask this question, this uh, difference or the similarity between the initial and always block. Initial and always block, we know that these are procedural block. So this is the similarity, right? Uh, so this is a procedural block. These two are procedural block. All the statement inside initial and always block are executed sequentially. Means whatever is written inside uh, initial and always, okay. All these statements are executed sequentially one by one, okay, and not parallelly then we can have more than one initial or always block in our design so if you're designing your uh, circuit or if you if you have coded for your logic then you can have multiple number of initial or always block in your design okay and begin and end should be used when more than one variables are assigned in initial or always block means if there is single statement you have written inside the initial block then there is no need of using uh, begin and end this uh, begin begin and end for single statement but if you have multiple number of statements or more than one number of statement then you should write begin and end inside initial block or inside the always block the initial block executes only once starting at time equal to zero simulation time whereas always block executes continuously at time equal to zero see both initial and always block they are executed at time at time equal to zero but what happens that uh, this initial block executes only once okay during that uh, power on time we can say during that power on time this initial block is executed once but what happens in case of always block is it it is executed continuously The always block is executed continuously unless and until the timing. For example, uh, let's say th uh, this this is always right. This is always. Then at the red, then some some signal, some sensitivity list is some sensitivity list. Then some statements you have written. So if these conditions are met, these conditions are met, then this always block is activated, and the statements are evaluated. So it is a continuous process unless and until there is a uh, changes in this uh, sensitivity list always the statements are evaluated okay so always block executes continuously but both initial and always block they are executed at time equal to zero okay initial is not synthesizable for ASIC that you have to remember in, ma in many more documents and the books it is written that initial is not synthesizable but here I have clearly mentioned that initial is not synthesizable for ASIC design application specific integrated circuit okay this ASIC means but it is synthesizable for some FPGA okay that you have to remember that initial is synthesizable for some FPGA but it is not synthesizable for any ASIC design but always block is synthesizable but you should follow some RTL guidelines then and that means whatever is written inside the always block is not synthesizable if you are not following the RTL guidelines properly so if you have followed the RTL guidelines and if you have coded your design then it is always synthesizable whatever you write in, inside the always block but the rules has to be followed okay Verilog also guarantee that all initial block starts before any always block the, I have I have uh, explained this one in my previous uh, two videos that uh, this always uh, this always block if there is always block and initial block inside your design then what happens the initial block is executed first then always block comes okay that you have to remember so here is an example actually so you will get to know now what is the difference between initial and always now we, we, we learn that initial and always how how they work and at what time they uh, they are executed and how whatever is inside the inside uh, sorry uh, uh, initial block and always block how the things are done sequentially it, it happens sequentially so what is the difference then 
the major difference c so this is one example so everything is same the what is the different here it is initial here everything is written all the statements are inside a initial block and all the statements are there inside a always block so what happens see at 0 nanosecond because at 0 at 0 nanosecond both initial and always block they are evaluated or they are executed so at 0 nanosecond what happens at 0 time step or here i'm uh, here i'm using nanosecond okay so at 0 nanosecond what happens this line is this line is executed so v1 v1 equal to 1 so this is for initial and this this result is for always okay so v1 will get 1 v2 v3 v4 will be uninitialized mean this is unknown value okay unknown value so here also same v1 equal to 1 because at 0 nanosecond this always block is also evaluated so at, so v1 will get 1 but v2 and v3 will get unknown value okay then after 2 nanosecond after 2 nanosecond v2 will be what v1 plus 1 so v1 is 1 so v2 will be 2 v1 is already 1 so v1 will be 1 and v2 will be v1 plus 1 so it will be 2 and then at the same 2 nanosecond because this is this happens at 0 nanosecond so this is 2 then at the same instant simultaneously these two lines these two lines are evaluated because this is after 2 nanosecond at the same instant this is because this happens at 0 nanosecond this is 0 nanosecond this is 2 nanosecond this is 0 nanosecond so this this line happens at 0 nanosecond this line happens at 2 nanosecond and this line happens at this plus this 0 plus 2 equal to 2 nanosecond okay so 2 nanosecond what you will get v3 equal to v2 plus 1 so 2 nanosecond v3 equal to v2 plus 1 v2 is 2 so 2 plus 1 equal to 3 but still v4 is not updated okay so v4 will be unknown value the same goes to this always block okay 2 nanosecond this one is 1 this is 2 this is 3 and unknown value okay then next is 4 nanosecond 4 nanosecond is this part there are 2 plus 2 4 nanosecond so 4 nanosecond v4 equal to v3 plus 1 and what is v3 v3 is 3 here v3 is 3 so v4 will be 3 plus 1 4 now v4 is updated now so v4 is 4 and what is v3 v3 is already v3 has already got uh, value 3 see this 3 so 3 v2 there is no update for v2 so v2 will be 2 what about v1 v1 will be v4 plus 1 because this is 0 this is 2 then this is 0 then this is also 0 nanosecond okay this is another 2 this is 0 this is 0 means this is 2 plus 2 so this is 4 nanosecond this is 0 nanosecond this is 2 nanosecond this is 0 nanosecond this is 2 nanosecond this is 0 nanosecond so this line and this line the same way this line and this line and this line they were ev evaluated at 2 nanosecond so this line and this line because there is no delay delay here okay so this two line will be evaluated at 2 nanosecond means after 4 nanosecond okay so 4 nanosecond v1 equal to 4 v4 plus 1 and what is v4 we got v4 we got 4 so 4 plus 1 equal to 5 so v1 will get 5 same same ghost goes for this always block this is 5 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 the last line okay at 6 6 nanosecond okay at 6 nanosecond let's see what, what will happen okay at 6 nanosecond means this line this line okay now v2 equal to because this is 2 plus 2 plus 2 so 6 nanosecond so v2 equal to v1 plus 1 and what is v1 v1 was sorry v1 v1 was 5 so v2 will get v1 plus 1 so it will be 6 so v2 is 6 okay v3 equal to v2 plus 1 6 nanosecond because this two line will be evaluated at 6 nanosecond so v3 equal to v2 plus 1 and what is v2 v2 i had initially 2 2 okay v2 is sorry no v2 is not v2 is not now 2 v2 is this part 6 it is 6 because already we got at 6 nanosecond already we got 6 v2 equal to 6 so v3 equal to 6 plus 1 so v3 will be 7 v3 is 7 okay same 6 7 here also 6 and 7 okay then what is v4 is there any v4 here there is no v4 there is no v4 so v4 will be constant whatever it, it had before the value so v4 is 4 and v1 is 5 because in uh, before uh, 4, 
time step that is at 4 nanosecond b1 was 5 so it will be 5 so 5 6 7 4 okay this was initial this always what happens 6 and 7 same then this 4 also same but what happens to v1 here v1 is 1 and it is v1 is 5 what happens whenever this line comes when this line comes this after 6 nanosecond b2 is updated to 6 b3 is updated to 7 b then this line comes right this line comes once this line comes what will happen it will jump to this line it will jump to initially because always it repeats do you remember you remember this one always repeats all the time right whatever is written inside the always it repeats it repeats okay so what happens here but it is not repeating here what it is doing once this line comes what it is doing this goes to top line v1 equal to 1 so v1 will be 1 now and already we had v4 equal to 4 v4 equal to already we got uh, this uh, see v4 equal to 4 will already we had so v4 is 4 we got 4 here but for v1 only value changes is v1 because it will it will jump to once the last line comes it will jump to first line again it will jump to first line so v1 will be 1 so this is the difference between uh, initial and always you can write the same code and you can check if uh, you are not sure whether uh, this way it will work work or uh, some other way it will work you can you can write the same code in your simulator then you can check you will get the same result okay whatever i have uh, written here okay so this is how this always and uh, this initial initial work okay so all the difference all the differences and all the similarity i explained okay so this is all about uh, this initial and always block and uh, thank you so much for watching and if you like the content then please do like comment and uh, subscribe this channel thank you